I change and up the thing. We have with us lyrical. Lyra! Lyra! <laughs> we hearing you all the time. We, it's just that I was doing your, your body first. And now I'm on you. How you going? What COVID doing with you? Um, COVID is, um, well, obviously, evidently it stopped everyone from, you know, functioning on a regular day basis, you know, on a normal, you know, a normal schedule, especially us in the entertainment, not just us, but, you know, well, I, I just talking for myself, I'm touring and, you know, traveling and doing the things we love and this is our job. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it brought me closer to, you know, close friends, family, son, and, um, you know, just to come on with myself and, and a lot of things we wasn't really getting chance to do because we were so busy on the road and doing music all over the world. Um, you know, we have a lot of time to research and, you know, get a lot of knowledge and, you know, stuff like that now. So um, it, it did bad. It did bad, you know, um, 2020 was a very rough year according to, the, you know, deaths and, and, and yeah, a lot of people lost their lives and all of that. But um, like I said, also brought loved ones together. It also, you know, made everybody come you know, one with themselves. So hopefully everybody use that time and, you know, in a positive way. Right. The... But with you now, your 2020 would have been really bad in the sense that you leave Carnival in Trinidad on a high. Your tune yeah. was beating the radio. Your bookings was out of this world. So yeah. how you deal with that? I mean, you send back anybody deposit or you keep all? Dinah thing, Dinah thing, and you're yeah, already. I mean, I mean, um, fortunately, the promoters was actually even asking back for the um deposit. Honestly. You see how lucky you is? You lucky? You real lucky? But <laughs> well, everybody, I, I guess, I guess, you know, coming into the pandemic, nobody knew how long it was going to last. Right. So, um, Promoter probably was thinking, okay, this will last a little two months, three months, wherever it will last this summer and after this summer. It's finished and forget next year or later down in the year, you know what I mean? So I think that's what it was for me. I was I was thinking like that. I didn't know that it would have been still going on. Right. You know what I mean? Like I say, gratefully, um, unfortunately, you know, no one asked back for the um down payment, which is a, which is still a good sign because that just shows people still have hope, a lot of hope in outside, you know, getting back to a regular schedule and stuff like that. In God with and God willing, of course. But, uh, of you know, course. It, it, besides besides the money financially, just touching the fans. You know, we we are artists. You know, especially so community, we are very you know close to our fans. So we go down in sometimes go in crowds, sometimes backstage, and the fans and them come and take pictures, take yeah. selfies, and stuff like that. So I miss that the most, connecting with the fans. You know, what I mean, talking to them and me too. And them back, you know what I mean? So. you know, I mean, so. But, but you know, I mean, you already start back the new season, which is the no, we, we in the no carnival season, but it's still a season because people still releasing music and you out there already with plenty music. But you know, you know what was like really baffling to a lot of people on Instagram, you posted a whole rapping kind of vibe and people don't realize that you used to rap before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was um, into I that. Did. Yeah, I came from a very versatile background, you know what I mean? Um, you know, back in the days, like I say, we, when I just started music, I didn't know no producers or anything like that. So I just used to jump on people. Beat. We kind of used to just call it Jack in the Beats, and I actually had a mix of Jack in the Beats. <laughs> so we're taking hip-hop beats, reggae beats, whatever beats. You know, I, get, I get a little one-two calls from a from couple soca producers even before, you know, because I took, you know, rhythms. And you teeth the thing. They get teeth it. Your teeth it. Yeah. <laughs> But I never, I was never selling it. I was never selling it. It was just for promotional use. You right, know what right, I mean? right. But I came from that, you know, and um, I just wanted to show the versatility because when I came into the business now, you know, um, I wouldn't really say the new fans, but the fans who started following Lyrical, you know, on the, on the rise, probably from 2013, 2012, probably did no Lyrical 2010 and previously before that. So I just wanted to show them the versatility. And well, they accepted it. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, because a lot of people don't know what you do before you actually become mainstream. What would you say is your breakout tune that really established you as a soca artist and to listen to this fella, he bad? Yeah, um, me, I will say 25 Beat because 25 Beat 2013 was my first song that gave me my first big carnival season. 
you know, on, on all of the biggest shows in um in, in Carnival. After that, it's in places like London, certain places in Canada I've never been before, in the Caribbean, places I've never heard of before. You know what I mean? So um, I think 2013, 2015 was my breakout show, and it gave me a lot of recognition because before, like, Rama and all over the girl and those kind of earlier songs was, people would kind of hear the name, lyrical, and they didn't really know what I look like, or, you know, <laughs> if he thought, if he likes, can it be dark or anything. So 25, it gave me a recognition. And um, I, I would say that is my breakout song. You see yourself as a sex symbol, because, I mean, you like to take them kind of pictures that looking like if, you know, there's one of them fellas and them, I see that one with your body greased down there. Where's that? You put a picture on your body. <laughs> eh? <laughs> You know, I like the talk stupidness. No, but seriously, seriously, I mean, you're a sexy fella. You know, you just look good in your clothes and thing. But you see yourself that way or you just, you know, you're just normal? I, I honestly just be normal because from small, I always like the dress. When I was actually, when I was coming into the business, I, will, I always say, if they like the, in my music, they had to like how I was dressed. Or some, some kind of something with my image, you know what I mean? So I always wanted um, that element of, of from a brand, you know, always, you know. Kept, well kept. Now. And what about the body bandana? What about the bandana? You're always wearing a bandana. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, in the in, in industry, in, in music, sometimes you see like how Talpri I hear out, you know, in that kind of style. Ah. I, I actually started wearing the bandana in 20s, after 2015 Carnival. Okay. After St. Cloud Nine, actually, and I remember the first time it was in um, a, a, a party in New York. And I wore black, and I wear a black bandana. And from then, I just kind of start wearing the bandana. People like, oh, it look at get a little rough edge. Because I ain't really like the old pretty boy kind of vibe, you know what I mean? I, I like to be on the rough side of things. You lie! You lie! You lie! <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but seriously, you're doing a good job musically, image-wise, all of that. You know when people Google you, they just find a Nigerian man named James Enoch or something. Who's that yeah. fella? Who's he? Yeah, we kind of fix that. I, I, I don't Who's know, he? You know. How they could say he's yeah. lyrical? Like the mother. Shine, taking all my shine. The taking mother. all my tune. I sing in tune and the same as he sing it. Yeah, and he's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rapper. So that's... The, listen, I feel you call yourself that to escape some lawsuit and you forget. I'm not going to take it. I have one more question for you with this part of the, the segment. Now, um... New York, I realize they have the little backyard vibes and different things. You perform anywhere. And why I asking? Because I want to know, because our reality in Trinidad is different. We gain fine for going and perform anyway, especially if it had more than 10 people. It had a recent case. Go and check it out, right? But yeah, yeah. you been anywhere performing, and what is that like? Um, in New York, I performed in two backyard, backyard jam um, for <laughs> Labor Day time. You know, um, and it was, it, was, it was good vibe. It was weird. It was weird because, you know, people partying in mass and stuff like that and trying to protect themselves because obviously safety first. Right. You know, uh, but it's, 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 it was good to, to, to feel the vibe from the people. But like I say, it was still weird to see people partying, you know, in a kind of social distancing kind of way with the mass and the thing and nobody even doing too close to each other. Yeah. But, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, this, 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 it's, a, it's a tough time to be an artist, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like I say, this, this is a lot, a lot of us, this is our bread and butter. This is how we live. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, we might take a chance. I'm not urging anyone to go and take a chance and, and, and you, know, you know, break the safety rules. But I did, to be honest. And um, like I say, it, 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 it was something I was yearning for. But, you know, if you don't have to do it, I guess, and you're not feeling safe, then don't do it. I agree, babe. I agree. Well, now that we're on the Destra show and we're doing this interview virtually, because I really had to talk to you. Yes, my boy, and I want people to get to know you. Who don't yes. know it? When I say get to know you, they know your name. But when you come on my show, people just get to see a different side of you, right? right. So I'm putting you on the hot seat right now. You had to answer these questions. Oh, gosh, don't feel the winner. Right. right. You ready? You ready? You ready? All right. Okay, number one question. If you could pick a day, to relive over and over again, what day would it be? A birthday. Which birthday? Any birthday? Oh, 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 oh. All, all the birthdays has been good. All my birthdays has been lit. My birthdays has been lit. I saw. Yeah, I, I saw. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. 
Name one soca artist that you would not want to share a room with because you think they might be too messy. Ooh, they put them, um, <laughs> ooh, them. Um, ooh, messy, too messy. Not the football, eh? I so can't do it. It's a good one, boy. Walk a true and not the bus, boy. Show somebody, anybody. Um, not me. <laughs> I, I, I would just show, let me show. I would show Teddy. Teddy, boy. Oh, good. <laughs> I had to call Teddy for Teddy to defend himself. All right, Teddy, it is. What is the last thing you did for the first time? Oh, the last thing I did for the first time. Wow. The last thing I did for the first time was attempt to make, attempt to make doubles. That is the thing you didn't post. You didn't post yeah. that? Yeah, that I, was... I, I, I didn't post it on my story, but I didn't take it down. It didn't look too right. But you're a cooker, man. I mean, a chef. Where did that yeah, come but from? Double, 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 double is not my thing. Is that your thing? That is not a thing. We prefer to buy it, too. I, I trust, trust my understand. All right. If you could have a song play every time you enter a room, what would it be? Bingole. <laughs> good one, good one, good one. All right. If money were no object and you were guaranteed to be successful, Aside from singing, what job would you do as a career? Um, mm, well, I could, I could say athlete. I, 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 I always wanted to be um, an athlete, a football player. I actually got scholarships in that, so hey, I, I, I would love to. Yeah. Well done. Well done. And that's the end of it. Now, I would usually do a game at this point, but I understand right. that um, you wanted to change the rules. You know, yeah. my art, I, what, you changing the rules on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me switch it up. So here, what are we going on? I, I could ask you now. I could, I could. Yeah, you have a game. All right, all right. I, I in your game, right. I game. <laughs> right. So I have three things, right? Uh -huh. I am going, I'm, I'm not going to show you. All right. I'm going to song. I'm going to put it close to the audio so you can hear the sound of it. And you have to guess what it is. That could be anything, Lero. That could be anything, and that is the point of it. Let, let, let me see how sharp your hair is. All right, let me go, let me go. Bring it on. <clears throat> All right, hold on. Hold on, let me make Hold on. One, two. Go in and do it one more time. All right, please. That's like if you open a, a bottle or something. A cork opening or, or a um, soft drink or something? Close? Very close. A, it can be a beer. No, it's not a beer. It's not a beer, but it's, it's, it's a soft drink? Yeah. It's, are they telling you soft drink too? Yeah, yeah you could if you, if you could you try. You feel a psychic? I don't <laughs> guess it already. You open a bottle of sea drink. <laughs> you can't you can right. You can, I can show you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me, show me. Right. It's a can of coke. A oh, can of coke. Well, I hear the fizz. I hear the fizz. All right, all right, again, all right. Come again. That is all you have. Come again. Come again. Let me go again, right? I'm going to make. Hold on. I'm going to make this song. Hold on. I'm here, but by the motion of your hand, it could be one out of two things, and I don't think you go. Oh, you put it up where you had it just now was a little suspect, <laughs> right? But if you the way <laughs> bottle and spoon, <laughs> bottle and spoon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hear. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, wait. A greater, you're stinging a greater. Hey. My husband is a song engineer, you know, I have good in. Yeah. <laughs> ah! All right, you ready for this one? I know, let me see. Hold on, uh, we get this one. I feel this one might be tricky. I hear, I hear like a, a bag of chips or something. You want to be more specific? The show is not a psychic. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, it's I correct. A <laughs> wait, I was going to guess that. Wait, don't show me the pack. Don't show me the pack.
watch somebody pack. I see it green, right? A green, right? Yeah. That is not um kettle chips from Liz. You cheated. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's no, no, no. You see you see it. No, how I go, how I go see you? You in New York? I quite here. What kind of you feel like that? Obia woman, or what? You feel my name is Dorothy? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lero. Let me ask you around with a guy. Lero, this is the first time that we attempt this online, and I'm glad I got here. I can't wait to see you in person, and I hire back and I'll punch for you. I talk to Robert, sorting you out. Sorting you out, don't worry. But it's so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just tell the audience real quick that what? you know one of one of the um reasons why you know besides us being cool and, and friendly and you know very good um you offer me a, a bottle of maybe two bottles of bacchanal punch. So when I come to Trinidad, would I be receiving that? Of bacchanal course, punch? darling. Of course, darling. <laughs> no doubt. I've already put it in the freezer for you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Let everybody know your socials that they don't know already, but let them know again how we could reach you online. Yeah, you can follow me on I am Lyricalist on Instagram, I-A-M-L-Y-R-I-K-A-L-E-C-E. -E. And once you hit that, you'll see me in um, Facebook, Twitter, and everything is linked to that. So follow me on Instagram. And yeah, we have some fun, post some nice pics, videos. You know, um, give thanks for all the support and love for the, for the new music and the older music and all the videos and stuff like that. And we are here for you. We say Soka, we say Deshka, we love you. All the fans, all the supporters, love. Bye. And we love you too, Lyrical. Shine